So, another one. Hello, Internet. Uh, we've moved around a bit, and uh, yeah, just a bit of a heads up of what is going on at Sadisfurter Festival uh, residency thingy. Uh, yeah, we moved to a different place and have a look at it. It's fucking amazing! <laughs> So yeah, here we, ooh, look at this, look at this, look at this. We, oh, there's Backlind. <laughs> Ernst is still sitting in front of his computer. Maybe he's actually doing something, like something yes, proper I this do. time. We're gonna have a look. What? Actually, he just programming data. We should try to find out what is doing what. Should we take a whole night? Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we're all gonna do like late shifts today, right? It will take a while. I, th I think I am definitely gonna take a bit for my thing. Okay, yeah, and my thing, I think I'm, I might actually do a, um, a separate video from this to explain what has come up for us or not. Or not? Maybe not. Okay. Um, yeah, I've opened up the CD player, like this root that I found in the... Wait, okay, let's go out of wonky vision and go into, like, normal. Yeah, I found this CD player, and um, I, I spent the last few hours trying what can be done with it, and I found a crazy amount of things that you can do with it uh, like if you there's like this this chip here um, this one is there for like the an what's it called anti-shock anti-shock something like that yeah um, so whenever you keep it for whenever you use the, the CD player for running or something it keeps it stores some bits of the C oh it uh, wait Okay, okay, so we go straight into demonstration mode apparently. Um, yeah, we have like this really absolutely horrible CD here um, that uh, is gonna be our victim for taking this uh, for yeah, demonstration thing. I soldered in this switch already. And uh, th what, what the switch basically does is it. Uh, <laughs> wait, I need to. This is horrible. Um, this switch connects to the right enable pin of this RAM chip. Um, it connects to. I don't know, I think it runs on 3 volts or something um, on the other side and when you switch them together um, it takes a loop quite a long one of whatever was there or whatever is played on the CD we picked a really horrible CD to uh, demonstrate that and here's the demonstration That's where it kept the. Uh, that's where. It, well, it's gonna keep on loop, looping from now. Um, the other fun bit about it, though, is when you switch this switch off again and on again, it just keeps on taking other random bits from where the CD has progressed so far. So, yeah. Well, I'm. I'm just gonna.
often I flip the switch back and forth, the choppier the whole thing gets. And if this already wasn't fun enough, um, is like a next thing I found out about it. You can actually now open it. Uh, wait. Yep, it turns off for a bit. But then I can put in a different CD. And uh, with the different CD, Let it work. It's also quite handy that the CDs can run while the CD player is open and upside down. Um, otherwise, it would be a major, major. So we're still to that loop, back to that loop of like this CD. And now, now if I flick the switch, it starts mixing in bits from the other CD. can basically, if I want to, I can take as many CDs as I want and build some really weird, really fucking long loop with it. And uh, yeah, also what I found out is that I can do like these, um, I can connect the pins of the RAM chip to either ground or uh, yeah like the, the supply voltage and then it gets even more violent like that uh, or like that What happened now? Oh, there it is. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's this so far. I think it's working quite well. Uh, and we're gonna see if we can find more fun stuff in here. And also I'm gonna build in like an interface and uh, stuff like that. So you will see. Ah!